In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you 10 steps or services slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created uh, 10 different rectangles uh, with different color combinations. And uh, depending on our services, I have added the icons and the detailed text. So how this slide works is when I click the each a service or option will expand and give more details so let me just show you when i click you can see here it has increased you can add some more details some images also and when i click it will go back to the main slide and then it goes to the next one you can see here something like this again i've added more details here again when i click it goes back to its uh, main slide so depending on your requirement you can add as many effects uh, as you want you can see here all those things I have just created a different way. So this is again I have just added here. Again it goes back. So if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this and you required a morph transition effect also so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to insert one rectangle for that go to insert tab shapes select the rectangle and then i'm going to make it shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to change its height and width so height i'm going to make it as 3 and the width i'm going to make it as 2.67 all right and then i'm just going to place it here and i'm just going to duplicate it by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to add it one more here at the bottom and make sure that there should not be any gap here so just pull it down all right and then i'm going to duplicate this both so i'm going to make total uh, 10 rectangles so press ctrl d to duplicate add it here you can see here so I have added all 10 but it looks like one but uh, it is actually uh, 10 different rectangles. Now what I am going to do is I can fill any color of my choice. So go to shape fill and there are a lot of uh, different colors you can choose from. So some random colors I am going to choose it from here. You can see here. So depending on your requirement whichever color you feel you can just fill it here. Alright so let me just choose maybe this color and then here also i'm just going to randomly select some different color combination all right so you can see here and if you want you can just go to more fill color also and then you can just choose any color of your choice from this part as well so let me just choose some different color combination all right now I have added 10 uh, rectangles and then you can add the title here for that go to insert text box I am going to say our services or you can type any headline here make it any choose any font you can see here increase the size and then I am just going to make it you know from this end to that end just stretch it and center align it and then if you want to add some more you can add it the next thing what you need to do is to add some details uh, in each box so i'm going to add some icons and the text here if you want to insert the icons go to insert you can see icons and this particular feature is available only in the latest version of powerpoint if you don't have these options a few months back i provided a complete uh, icon list you can just uh, uh, use it also so let me just uh, insert some uh, 10 icons here so randomly i'm just adding some 10 icons all right so uh, when you do it you need to just make sure that it is relevant to your topic all right so anyway i'm just adding a random 9 or 10 different icons and click insert you can see here these 10 icons added here and then I'm going to make the graphic fill as a white color and then let me just put it one by one at the top of each box you can see here I'm going to just copy not copy just drag it and then you can see here 
and make sure that it is properly aligned also and then this one you can see here something like this all right so the next thing is we need to add the text so you can go to insert and text box and just add the text or i can just simply copy from my previous uh, this one so i'm just going to paste it here you can see here i've just copied this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm just going to place it like this or you can hold the ctrl shift key together and then just drag it and release it again sorry i have to just do it again you can see here something like this if you feel difficult you can press ctrl d only and then duplicate and do it like this again ctrl d i can just do it and i'm going to paste one by one on each of and later on we need to align it properly you have to make sure that it is properly aligned all right so you can see here i've added all the the text and let me just select this text and i'm going to make it align top and this also i'm going to align it top all right so you can see here uh, we have completed this first slide the next slide i'm going to talk in detail about each option or each services so let's do that one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this right mouse click and duplicate slide all right and then i'm going to keep the first uh, box only the rest i'm going to delete it i can just highlight like this i'm deleting this one you can see here and this one i'm going to increase the size something like this and i can just move this in the center exactly all right and this text also if you want you can just increase the size or increase it width also you can see something like this you can do it and if you want to add more options for this particular thing you can just go to insert text box you can add any shape of your choice for example i want to add few more information also i'm just going to duplicate this you can see here i have added all this and then i can remove the outline and then i'm going to insert some pictures for that right mouse click go to format shape picture or texture fill and click on insert i'm going to use online pictures if you are having a uh, pictures already on your pc you can use this uh, particular feature so let me just go to online pictures and i'm going to randomly select depending on my requirement i'm going to choose some images here you can see here that particular image has been uh, added and then i'm going to select this and i'm going to add some different image here maybe this time i'm going to use a kind of a autumn and here i'm going to choose this click on insert so that particular image has been added here and then i'm going to add something which is i want to add maybe from icons i can just choose anything and click on insert so that the icon <coughs> sorry the icon has been added so now for this particular slide what i need to do is i need to do a morph effect for that go to the transitions and again remember this morph transition effect is available only in the latest version of powerpoint so i'm just going to click the morph so it becomes something like this all right so let me just do one thing now for this also if i want i can just change this color because i don't want the color or something maybe i'm going to use this color so anyway let let me just go here now all right so this is our slide which we have created a while ago and when i click you can see here it has increased all right and now what i need to do is i have to select this slide right mouse click duplicate the slide and bring it to the next of this slide here so that means when i'm going back it should go back to this particular slide okay for this also i'm going to give a morph transition so let me just play so i have created slide number three four and five so first slide i'm going to play this is slide number three when i click it expanded you can see our services again when i click it goes back it comes here okay and now if i want to do this one again i'm going to duplicate this and then i'm going to delete all this by keeping only the orange one all right and this also i'm going to delete it and this i can increase the size 
so how you want the size you want something like this so depending on your requirement you can just adjust it all right so maybe you want something like this and this one has to move here for example and here you want to increase the size all right and then you're going to add some more text all right so you can see here i'm just giving us different pattern here so let me just show you how it works now so let me just go to the slide number three and again uh, before that let me just duplicate this one and bring it down all right so let me just go to the slide number three now this is slide number three our services comes here click goes back then the next one the orange one so you can see here it looks something like this and then again it is back to its normal position so depending on your requirement you can just create all you can add number of slides and give a different effect as per your requirement